Okay, okay, let's try not to get throttled here. This is a section lecture on assembling, filtering, uh, using videos for your devised piece in a theater, in a gallery, in uh, installation, in a classroom, in an immersive environment, in your VR spaces, anything. So uh, uh, hopefully this class is acquainting you, letting you know that um, we're working with a translation of not just media, but of senses. So this is the video part. Of course, video is um, two-dimensional with the dimension of time added to it. So we're going to treat it in a, with a fundamental sort of element, elemental um, sort of approach. Um, we have the dynamics of, of two dimensions. Uh, figure ground composition in in a picture plane. Um, certainly, when we add a VR, it becomes composition in a wraparound plane. I want I want us to think of design with a capital D that we're expanding these notions. And um, many of you, some of you, were just working with um, desktop publishing. Um, uh, Microsoft Word and all of that, uh, but, but perha perhaps with this new crop of cell phone apps of creating filters for your Instagram or Facebook or TikToks, the creation of TikToks is added the dimension of time to something like very quick, clever, compressed, obsessive compulsive videos um, that are are judged to garner attention quickly, um, get their point across in 60 seconds or less, um, which has reduced us down to the attention span of less than a goldfish. But that's for some other lecture. Um, so 2D, uh, uh, making it, uh, baking it. Um, your Part of your assignment, as you see in your syllabus, is to make video textures. I want you to do two things. I want you to go into nature. It's all nice and green now, somewhere outside, and try to get get in deep to something like a flower, a leaf, water, stones, gravel. Um, uh, uh, get in there with your camera and uh, camera on your phone, movie camera, and make a five second burst, five to ten, ten second burst of that um, texture, texture. Uh, run your hand across it, try and give some sense that it is um, desirable or undesirable to touch. Um, watch the figure ground relationship. I don't want like subjects in front and a background like a sky. I would like something exactly, as I mentioned, something that is tactile perhaps like a flower a rose thorn of water sand on the beach wherever you might be and um and of uh, kind of bring it in as a texture that has no figure ground relationship i have a number if i'm able to bring them in i have a number of examples of um that the current show we're doing uh uh, Lear Earl, um, the King Lear uh, Earl, the Eisenhower America man, um, is demanded that we bring in also uh, uh, textures, video textures, things. Um, we looked for copyright free on the Library of Congress uh, um, uh, 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 copyright uh, protected things things that thematically pertain to the show. So we had, um, first off, uh, uh, the Rota Fortuna, the Wheel of Fortune, the Shakespearean Wheel of Fortune. I found some very interesting takes on that and I put it into iMovie. Now, whether you have a Mac or a PC, there are a couple of free-ish movie programs. Um, 
on your uh, out there in reality land, internet land, um, Windows Media Maker or iMovie is one of them. Those who are bloggers, Facebookers, uh, Instagrammers, and above all, TikTokers um, have probably dabbled in filmmaking anyway. I don't really have to spend too much time in saying you load your reality up from out there somewhere. Either you take the film or you rip it or remix it or whatever. Um, we are, for the example of this, we look for copyright-free films. We're going to filter it with more lurid color, um, establish a greater figure ground relationship and so forth, and um, project it on this white space, this tabula rasa, this um, open, um, open space. So here goes. Um, we have... Um, this Windows Media Maker, I've just selected a little chunk of the interface because I don't want to get throttled here uh, with making this film. Um, <clears throat> and um, in, in terms of looking for counterpoint, I'm looking for techie, line-based, graphic, motion graphic type things. Uh, for Lear Earl, we looked for uh, Wheel of Fortune. We then, there's this discussion of uh, Earl, Rick's father, going to the Pacific War as a Marine and seeing the, the, the carnage, the chaos, and so forth. So there were a number of copyright-free films that were taken by your grandparents' tax dollars, so they should be copyright-free, of really really brutal images of both dead marines and dead japanese and and the real carnage of war not the fake uh, hollywood type where you die dramatically when hit by a bullet um, um and then we jumped into sorry we jumped into a life in Eisenhower era America. Again, he was the general president. Um, in some ways, we translated uh, bombs to butts. Instead of bombs in the big bombers, the long fuselage bombers flying over, we had butts. Um, people, um, returning soldiers, their family, the new bourgeoisie, the the um, the tourists, the creation and making of the tourists, similar to the way we made soldiers. Um, go there, snap your picture, look at the Eiffel Tower, get the Eiffel Tower, come back, go to Disneyland, prepackage, get it, photograph it, show you're having fun, come back. Very um, almost uh, uh, the, the great William White book, The Organizational Man, it's almost quite like uh, landing in a landing craft and um, getting on shore, establishing a beachhead, except for the whizzing bullets. You're a tourist with your family. You're supposed to record your emotions at landing at Disneyland or Paris um, or Mount Rushmore. Um, it leads to another discussion, another um, uh, uh, philosophy of... of um, uh, of why it was easy during Eisenhower era America out of the depression to replace bombs with butts, um, uh, especially in the new very wealthy uh, uh, post-World War II America and how this led up to industrial collapse. So this is part of the dramaturgy of the piece. It's important to understand, oops, timer went off. It's important to understand that um, in looking for these things, we're looking for copyright-free things. You're going to get video textures, which later when we get to Maximus P, we'll talk about layering those things together. Um, uh, we're looking compositionally for counterpoint, counterpoint not only in theme, but in, in composition, color, uh, texture, um, and so forth. And as we can see in the film um, taken in the theater lab space, the beautiful white walls become, become screens. 
Um, I personally hate the little tiny little screen. I think there's a tyranny behind that, making our lives tinier and tinier and tinier. Uh, one of the attractions of Theater Lab as a venue is that uh, Orieta painted it all white um, instead of all black, as in method acting in America. Hey, let the background disappear. Well, the background, as we're pointing out here, never disappears. There's a background of um, sociology, politics, economics. Everything has a background, as the Gestalt um, psychiatrist stated. Um, let's go for forward. So we're looking for these things, the, um, the, uh, 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 the cars. The car is a huge trope in this, in this piece. Um, the ta detached room with a massive chrome on it looked like an animal, looked like a dinosaur, looked like a boat. Um, represented uh, elegance, ostentatious elegance, what um, a Thorsten Veblen would call a conspicuous consumption of the petite bourgeoisie. And again, um, think of tourist tourism as soldiers landing with a landing craft instead now they're landing with 707s um, uh, uh, to Disneyland in Paris let's go further this is important for our um, uh, discussions um, hopefully in this video we get around without getting throttled to show how we can transform it through filtering if it will allow me to do that and I, as you can see, I've loaded up some um, filters already that I used on various gigs. I also have a gig in Denver, which they need images such as cliffs and fog and, and things in the background that evoke um, the scene. The room, the theater, uh, becomes the brain. Um, uh, we're so used to surfing on our little devices it's annoying when you get in a public space like a train that someone's watching their TikToks or their their little film bit too loud uh, we're losing a sense of public space that way uh, everything is privatized certainly when uh, Hollywood types get up off the audience area and come up and slap uh, other of their colleagues we were losing a sense of what is private and what is public um, so here is how we make purposely something for the public. All right, let's try it out. Um, in um, a file I've called Video Texture, I have a number of student works that are amazing. Um, I've selected uh, some of the better ones. This is using a filter called Gush online, uh, experiments with Google. Uh, creates these psychedelic colors which create patterns there's there's a wow factor to it um, and so forth this is what a student took of nature outside of Stony Brook on the grounds of Stony Brook uh, plants trees leaves and then filtered them which is what I want um, increase the contrast um, pump the saturation things that most of you are used to in uh, this new epoch, strange new beautiful epoch of being able to make short little films and post them on um, Facebook, um, TikTok, and so forth. So um, I think this is Stephen's work. Let's take a look at one of these. Yeah, and this is exactly what I want. Um, there's some sound to it. He overlapped it. Um, it's a 10 second burst, very small, keep it under maybe about 20 megs. Um, done with an iPhone, uh, let's see another one. Bark of a tree, filtered, perfect, perfect, exactly what I wanted. Uh, and we shall see how to filter that when we get to uh, creating layers and our own custom filters in, in the VPL, Visual Programming Language, called Maximus P. Uh, take a look at this one, just stunning. He filtered, pumped contrast, did some inversion, um, got in there, not establishing figure ground relationship, there's no head or subject or plane, remove the subject and put all texture. And I can imagine that in a theater somewhere. 
Um, so this is, uh, what's this gush doing? I think I made this machine. Going stuff. back, he found the ground still strewn with the blossoms and was wondering. We did a couple shows with this. The, voice behind him the machine stops and dream. The Chinese classic "Dream here? of the Red Chamber." A student he did turned a and saw whole a um a hoe over uh, one shoulder, selection of "Dream of the Red Chamber" with this. hoe and a broom in her hand. Um, so that's this program called Gush. There are plenty of filters online. I want you to experiment. Um, I, again, I don't even know why I repeat this, but I'm teaching an arts and humanity classes at a very staunch STEM school where everything, if you're not pooping on numbers, it's not valid or you're insecure or somehow if the metrics don't attend, your people get creeped out. Um, stop it. Um, just do it. Commit sincerely. Uh, find your voice, have some boldness, I'm here to mentor you. Um, uh, 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 don't worry about your GPA for once and just do the work um, with confidence, with wonder, with curiosity. Um, this student who did these is just perfect. Um, uh, a student will jump back into my head, what do you want? Is I want this. <laughs> we want this. Um, because it'll show up on the stage, it'll show up in a club, it'll show up in an installation, it'll show up in a science museum, um, anything, anywhere. Um, it's part of the skill of developing your own language. Okay, let's clear out of these textures. Um, I've also included... Uh, uh, here's an interesting one. Um, whoops, he's showing up off stage. Let's bring him over. Um, this student did of this of water and added this graphic um, filter um, and so forth. It, oh, I get it. It showed up in Apple TV. Thank you, ghost of Steve Jobs. Um, let's quit out of that. Here's another interesting one here. Steven did a very good job on this. The sound, sound, don't worry about sound. It'll come with, there's the bees. It'll come with, um, the terrain will show you how to take sound out. Okay. Um, we added the, um, uh, the, 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 the um, films. Um, and now let's talk about the gig with um, Denver. Um, here is one of the films I shot. Let's see if it gets added here. It's got sound with it. I was multitasking. I was doing war footage with this other uh, gig for um, Denver. So we're going to have... Years of war. 2,000 of them were crammed on... All right. What do we do with this? Uh, so we will, uh, take this. There must be some way. Oh, here's more textures. Here is one minute of this. This is a piece I made in Flash years ago. Something like that. But we have this. We have that. We're going to bring the sound down to just play it. Without sound, I move the sound down, remove that. We're going here. Uh, uh, we have to slide it around. Here's my uh, panoply of all of the films worked on in the past few months. Um, here are some of the films uh, that were worked on for the machine stops. Let's let's filter this seacoast um and so forth let's go to um we can do autocolor pump that up uh, uh, uh this is iMovie of course and uh, windows media maker is very very similar it's down here on the other thing um uh, the the uh uh Translate tour. Uh, we can go to transitions, but it's all one film. 
titles, audio. Uh, we have my media, but we wanted this. And let's look for uh, backgrounds, titles. Of, I don't like using backgrounds, titles, transitions. Uh, view. Um, apply clips. And we go to this thing over here. Um, the clip filter, audio effect. <clears throat> and again, on Windows Media Maker, um, we're going to choose none. Um, we actually want that as silent as we can get it. And um, let's go back. None. Um, here's what we get. Let's cancel it. We're gonna do all sorts of, of audio texture. We're going to get into DAWs and so forth and play with that. Let us now go over to Clip Filter. And as you can see, we can filter this in a number of ways. This is the stage, so these things are going to show up 10 or 20 feet wide. And we do have a question of the jaggies or quality. Um, uh, the things in balance of the quality of your projector, the quality of your content, the quality of the rip, the quality of your camera. Garbage in, garbage out. Um, but uh, you know, clearly we want high quality sometimes, but we don't have the money. For example, most Epson projectors used for data projecting in business are anywhere from 2,000 to 3,600 lumens with WXGA or XGA or it's all variable. So um, what I aim for is sometimes the biggest bang for the buck. Um, this is a filtering. I know this has to happen behind an audience. Comic Cool um, flipped. That merely flips the film. Um, uh, this is None. A blockbuster Heat Wave is one I like often. Uh, let's try uh, this uh, heat wave we have to apply it um, heat wave uh, there it is behind the thing so, hold on I gotta give you a look there it is behind the thing blockbuster vintage could work I'm just Western um, you know uh, they're having fun at Apple company with these names here is duotone sci-fi is often one I like for the stage because it establishes strong figure ground relationships negative could be a, a view if we wanted a wider stage x-ray um, uh, audio glow glow could be the one um, again on there are a number of programs on my Samsung Droid. I use CamArt, C-A-M-A-R-T. Um, that gives a bunch of filters for um, movies as well as still images. Perfect for the stage. I tend to like in shipping it over I, to the desktop and between platforms, Facebook Messenger. Um, don't ask why. Here's the quick why. It compresses fast. It's fairly doesn't degenerate the image that much. Uh, it's ubiquitous. Uh, I can send it to other people usually. I know you think old people use Facebook and they do. Um, but this is one of the good parts of it. Let's go with Glow. And um, uh, you're not able to see this. No, you aren't because we're still running. Um, and let's go up here to share. Um, share file, which might make it big-ish. Uh, we have a view of it. It could be very compelling on stage. Um, and in a looping fashion, I wanted some sort of rhythmic thing. I go, it's um, gives you us the size 
two megs. Um, in the arts, we do have to deal with numbers, math, usually fifth grade math. Uh, what's coming in, what resolution, uh, what's going out, what's going into projector, how long is the distance, throw distance from the projection source to the target, um, because believe it or not, physics are in operation there, and the, the candle, candle footage, the candle um, density per foot drops through space um, uh, because of the physical property of light. Um, so we have to keep all of these in balance. And usually on shoestring budgets, just using projections for the, the, the gig, it um, demands other sorts of dimensions. Let's go to next. And let's call it something. Ocean. Ocean waves. Uh, uh, filtered. Something like that. I don't know. You decide. Um, and we save it to our desktop. I like saving to desktop because um, because I can pick it up later. Um, so this is uh, your video texture part of um, doing about 10 or 20 of these video textures. Just five to 10 second bursts, nothing big. We are going to see how we use it later. Where we can use it later are in our VPLs, Visual Program Language. Um, sometimes we can even use these in DAWs. There's a digital audio workstation. There's um, Ableton uh, to which we can bring in videos. Um, it's, all, it's a wonderful epoch in the sense that they're all numbers. Again, back to numbers. They're all numbers and um, the ability to say vision is vision consists of numbers audio relation consists of numbers tactile relations consist of numbers um opens up uh bigger questions can i mean how different are the senses from each other um uh, they now are working on voxels or spaces within the brain that would be able to teach blind people how to see things if they can read the voxels of the brains through some EEG and so forth. This is almost, the share was successful, my movie. I hate the way Apple Company uses these touchy-feely um, California-esque uh, words like share instead of export. Um, they're aiming at a lifestyle, but I'm sure they were successful with their company branding and always pointing toward lifestyles rather than operations or just verbs. Um, that is shared. Uh, share it to your file. Keep a file on your desktop and a file in our, our um, uh, collective drive site. We're having new security issues with the drive site. Um, um, I got hacked on my uh, Instagram account by a Ruski bot or something with speaking in Cyrillic. And it um, hacked, fished, and gutted my uh, Instagram site. So the security is an issue. Um, we're having some security issue with maintaining a collective drive site, looking for alternatives um, outside of uh, the institutional solutions, which tend to be 10, 15 years behind the curve. Um, I'm teaching a media course. You're making media. You're bringing it in. It's your own media. Um, uh, it's your own voice. Um, uh, this sh should have a place where we can view and critique and then reuse this into the production. Um, so far, so good, I hope. Um, and... Um, uh, that was a demo on how to use iMovie or Windows Media Maker or your cell phone uh, camera. The, the program actually is... Cam... 
All right, I'm not, mine's not in alphabetical, but C-A-M-A-R-T or something like that. I have cartoon pictures. I have photo blend. I have um, uh, lots of stuff. Um, uh, pencil sketch. Um, there are literally dozens on both platforms, either the... Um, the uh, Apple platform or the Droid platform. It's out there. Go use it. Go discover. Hack it up. Uh, be adventurous. Be curious. Be sincere in your energy. Again, explaining the, the p position of arts and humanities in a neoliberal capitalist world that it tends to quantify everyone and makes them always validate their existence with numbers. Apart from culture wars and this, that, and the other, there's this hideous trend to reduce everything to numbers. This is not one of those classes. I am respecting curiosity, energy, vitality, sincerity. Go do it. Make your films. We'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.